G'day guys and welcome to Me Lab and to this our sixth episode in our uh, Super Bogan Brothers platformer tutorial series in Godot 4 and in this episode we are going to uh, get a bit truer to the title platformers, add in some platforms and some patrolling enemies just like the uh, Coopers do in Super Mario Brothers so let's have a look at what we're doing today. Alright, so let's get stuck into it. So get Godot open, get our project open, uh, the wherever you're up to at the end of our fifth lesson, and we're going to get started. So we're going to make a second enemy in this um, in this particular video. We're going to use virtually the same stuff as what we did for the, for the toad, but this enemy we want to be able to um, flip back and forth on a platform and not walk off platforms. So let's start off by effectively um, going through the process we did to make our toad and then we'll make a few changes. So if you can recall, first thing we want to do is come up to the top here, click on the plus to add a new scene and then we need to find a character 2D or a character body 2D node to be our root node. So we um, click on the plus, we search for character body 2D, we click enter. I'm going to call this one big underscore toad. So this is just going to be our bigger one. Our bigger one's going to be a slightly stronger enemy that patrols, right? So we've got our big toad. Now, there's our little warning that we always get that's generally telling us, well, you've got this thing here, but there's nothing else going on, right? So let's start fleshing this out. We're going to need an animated sprite 2D for our animations. We're also going to want a collision shape for our big toad. We don't want that to be a child of the animated sprite 2D. We want it to be a child of the node. Let's click in our collision shape. We're going to need to actually give ourselves a collision shape at some point. Um, and what else are we going to need? We're going to need that hitbox that we gave to our normal toad. But if you remember, that's an area 2D. So we're going to click again. We're going to look for an air, oops, an area 2D. That's going to be a child of our um, big toad node. And we're going to rename it to hitbox. And then that's going to need its own collision shape as well. All right, so that's the basics done. Let's now click on our animated sprite 2D and actually make our animations for um, this particular toad. Now I've put an additional file up on itch.io and it will be in the GitHub as well. Um, or it'll be in your OneNote uh, if you're doing this in class. But we want our big toad uh, sorry our toad2.png so I'm just going to drag that in to our um, to our file explorer here there it is there toad2 all right so we've got animation sprite 2d is clicked on I'm going to come over click on animation in our inspector click next to sprite frames we're going to click on empty new sprite frames and then click on it again we're going to come down to our animation frame at the bottom click on default to rename it and we're going to rename it to hop just like with our original toad and then we're going to add our hop animation so we click on the grid we find our new one which we called toad to. I've just made it a different color basically. Um, that's only got one uh, vertical and I think they have eight. Yeah. So now let's zoom in and grab those animations. So we're just going to grab the whole lot. That's our hop. Um, I'm also going to move this up so it's on top of the line like that. And now our next step is, is to put, put in those uh, collision shapes that we've sort of started. So collision shape here, this is just our toad collision shape. So we're going to want this to be a rectangle like we did with our other toad, but we want it to be a bit smaller than our dude just to make sure that we can actually kill him and not just automatically die whenever we get close. So that's our collision shape for our big toad and we need one for our hitbox as well. So we click on empty, click on rectangle shape. And if you remember how we did it for our first, we actually put this one on top because we only want our toad to die if you're jumping on his head. So something like that should do it. Now, this is basically what we did for our first toad, but there's an extra step in this part that we want to do um, for our new toad. And that is, what, it, it's how we're going to manage uh, it knowing whether it's still on the platform or what have you. So we're going to click on our big toad root node again. We're going to click the plus to add a new thing as well. And we're going to look for a raycast 2D. All right, so that gives us this rather enormous arrow here that we're going to position directly in front of our toad. Now it doesn't need to be that long. It can probably be like 15 or something like that. Let's move it back down. Da, 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 da. Something like that. So now that means we've got something at the front of our toad that can detect different things. So we want to, uh, what else do we want to do? We want to signal that hitbox through. So click back on the hitbox, 
go over to your nodes and body entered. Uh, oh, of course we haven't got our script yet. Duh. All right, so let's click on our big toad root node. Let's click on the add script. It's gonna be called big toad, that is fine, but I still wanna be in our uh, 2D view at this stage. Um, so we've got big toad, it's got a script. So now we can click on our hitbox area 2D, go over to our nodes, click on body entered, and that's now patched in here. All right, so now we've got the basics, but what I think we'll do is let's actually put the exact same code that our normal toad has, and then we're gonna edit it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna grab our normal toad code, normal toad code, um, and then we will change it to be a bit uh, more specific to what we want to do here. So I've added this in. This is what we have for our existing toad already. This is the exact same code. We can talk through it a bit. So we're extending our character body 2D because that's our root node. We want to give it a constant speed of 25. We're actually going to change that from a const to a variable. Um, we want our variable for gravity. We've got another variable here for is alive, which is how we um, work out some of the timing and things of death. Um, we want access to our animated sprite 2D node. Um, in our ready, all we're doing is adding to the enemy group. Um, our physics process, it's a, a lot to do with speed and direction. Um, we call our update animation, which is just playing the hop one, etc. So this is our basis that we're going to build on. But our big toad has a few things that are a bit different. All right, so like I said, the first thing I want to do is actually change our constant speed to a variable speed. And because our toad is starting out facing left, we're actually going to give it a speed of negative uh, 25 to start with, because that's going to have it moving towards the left. So before the way I've done it, it didn't really matter, but this time it is going to matter which way it's facing. So speed of negative 25, we still want our gravity to be the same. Um, we still want our is alive to be the same. Um, that on ready can stay as well, but we also need another variable in here, and we're going to call it facing right equals false, because when, sorry, uh, yeah, false because when our sprite starts, it's facing left, right? So when it first um, appears in the scene, we want it to set facing right to false because it's not facing right. All right, so we've got facing right false, we've got all those variables, um, we've got our, our function ready is fine. Physics process, we're gonna start making some changes, all right? So in here at the moment, this is us handling um, gravity, so velocity y. We need to add a few new things. So first thing we wanna do is check to see if not is on Floors. So we're checking to see if our um, character is actually on the floor or not. If they are not on the floor, we are using this for our gravity, right? So if they're not on the floor, velocity wide, da, 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 da. so we've just added that in as a little check. Now we're going to add in something that's a bit, uh, a bit more or a bit newer, and that's we've got to handle that raycast 2D that we added in. So remember we added that in to detect whether or not we are on a ledge or about to fall off a ledge. So here we're gonna handle some of that. So if, uh, and the exclamation point um, is turning that into basically, um, if it is not, uh, so if uh, raycast 2D dot is colliding um, and is on floor. All right, so what we're trying to do is just, just track to see where our uh, big tote is at the moment. So if that ray cast um, is not colliding or on floor, we want to do something. So we want to actually flip our um, sprite around. Now we haven't created the flip function yet, so that's going to give us an error, but that's okay for now. So what we're saying here is if our ray cast 2D, so that arrow, um, is no longer colliding and we're no longer on the floor, then we want to flip our dude around. So basically I, I position that, let's go back and have a look at the 2D view of our toad, right? So here is our here is our raycast, it's in front of our toad. Now you could move this well out to here or something if you didn't want our toad to get all the way to the edge, it would just flip around quite early on. But let's keep it up nice and closely tucked in there for now. So that's our raycast and we're just using this to detect if we're still above any collision shape or not. All right, so let's go back into our script. So uh, we need to flip. So velocity x, we can actually change this speed now because we've changed it up above. So we're taking the minus away from this speed here. Um, we then have our update animation, our move and slide, that's all fine. Um, our on hitbox body entered, that is all fine as well. But we need to make our flip function now so that all of this starts working beautifully. So we're gonna create a function called flip. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look and see if um, 
facing right um, is uh, on or not where am I facing right he was da -da 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 -da, facing right oh gosh it would help if I could type uh, facing right what else are we going to do so let's get some more space here so we then want to scale dot x equals abs so what we're doing with this abs is just making sure we get the entire value and not um, a partial and then we want to go times negative one so scale x abs times negative one yep uh, then if facing right speed equals abs speed all right so we're just sort of normalizing these values i guess otherwise else we want to go speed equals abs speed times negative one all right i think that's everything we need in there no it is not scale yes. oh doubled up with the abs this was some there we go so function flip so facing right equals uh not facing right scale does it i think i think i think we're there so let's save this um as big toad that's good now let's go back to our world 2d view and let's drag that new scene we just made big toad in and drop him on a platform like that yep cool um oops somehow i've also got the tile map selected there we go so hopefully when we run this now, our this toad will do what it normally does, the little toad, but the big toad should just patrol that particular platform. So let's play that now and see what we get. So a toad, yep, you can see how it's flipping backwards and forwards. Our other one's still coming towards us. Let's jump on his head and oops. I'm gonna, I reckon it's gonna take me a few guys to get the timing right of this. Ah. All right, well, I got him on the way down. So what you'll need to be careful with um, with this toad, let's go back to our big toad, is we just need to make sure that when we're jumping, we're hitting the, the top. So if you're jumping up onto the platform and collecting that toad on the way, it's gonna kill you. But that's the same way it works with Coopers, right? So we've now got um, the, the toad that can patrol a platform. So then it's just about actually making some platforms, right? So if we go back to our world scene, we click on our tile map, um, we can use these bricks, I think will do just fine. We want our tile map selected, um, we want our pencil tool, and we want to click on this brick. We could then just add a couple of platforms in at various points um, and patrol them with those new toads. So now I'm going to drag that big toad in. It occurs to me I should probably click off the tile map. <laughs> I'm going to drag that toad into a few spots so it's sort of guarding those platforms, right? So now let's play that and see if they all work. Yep. Beautiful. So there we go. That's all I wanted to achieve today. We've um, created some new platforms. We've created a whole new type of um, enemy that patrols just like our Coopers in Mario. In our next uh, episode, I think what we're going to have a look at is things like collectibles and uh, that sort of stuff because uh, it's a massive part of Mario, right? It's all about gathering those things up. So let's do our must may might so you know exactly what you need to do in this lesson um, and then I'll let you uh, have at it. Well done guys, if you got through that you should now have some platforms in your game as well as enemies that patrol those platforms. Well done. Next time we're going to look at um, pitfalls and collectibles, so dying when you fall down a hole basically as well as picking up things like coins. And the quote I want to leave you with this week is from Epictetus and he once said that any person capable of angering you becomes your master. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.